Oh, crap. Okay, see how these are bent like that over that way? Okay, you have to reverse bend that there. Because when this is moved up here, putting this on makes the makes the screw that go there contact the horn ring and, and it's always on. So you have to bend this the opposite way so it clears the screw. Otherwise the screw grounds and the horn goes off. To make sure, put some epoxy on there. But basically, it's those screws right there as they go through these plates. And since we had to move this, move this further up to align the wheel. Also, I put some liquid tape on there too. I think that's going to work out all right. The bolts protruding through the locking mechanism have been ground down so they can't uh, contact the electrical connections, tabs underneath the steering column. And what I did was I actually used something called shoe goo to insulate this. It's very hard, so actually that's pretty good. Not just for shoes. Okay, first I placed the hub on and tightened it. Okay, now I'm going to place the wire for the horn along with the spring into this uh, hole. It's hard to do this with one hand. Like that. And then lining up the hole throughs and then putting these screws on. Okay, now that those are tightened, you know, Put on the, the nut to the main steering shaft and tighten it. Now that the main nut is tightened, I'm going to take off those three so that this can go in place and then replace them. This is for the horn ring where the actual uh, electricity makes contact to make the horn blow. What I'm going to do is put some of this on the uh, threads so that they don't come out. Okay, now to tighten them. And now the horn button with the spring in place.
Apparently only one of the two horns is working, but that's a fix for another day. So now it'll be driving straight. We're straight ahead with the steering wheel oriented properly. 